Hello everyone and welcome to Scrap Mechanic News. This is a video where we're going to be discussing information about the future of the game. Now currently we are on patch 0.1.16 and so far there's been bug fixes, minor tweaks and changes and the only bit of new content that's been added is the traffic cone. So not too much to talk about there but what we're going to be talking about is things that have been said on their official Twitter account which is at Scrap Mechanic. Now none of this stuff is guaranteed to be in the game but it's a good hint at what they're planning on doing and a lot of this information has been compiled by Starbrooks. If you're watching thanks for doing that. This user has a thread on Steam with all of the tweets compiled together. I also had a little fish through their Twitter account and found a few more things that they've said as well that is interesting. So in this video we're going to start off with things that appear to be a little bit more immediate, features that are planned around the corner and then we'll progress the things that they've hinted might be in the long term of the game. So let's start reading through some of these tweets. Are you guys planning to add character customization of any kind? Yes, we want to add that for survival mode. So if you didn't know they already had survival mode planned, now you know that character customization will be a part of that. Do you plan to have destructible physics added into scrap mechanic? Yes, it's on the to-do list. So they've got a game plan, you know, the to-do list, and destructible physics is a part of that. Hello, when I build with my friends too much stuff, the game gets really laggy. How do you fix it? When are you adding pistons? Hi, we will keep optimizing the game, but for now we suggest you start a new world when it gets too laggy. Pistons are coming, so both confirming pistons and of course that they're going to optimize the game and make it run better. That kind of goes without saying, doesn't it? Is there a quick way to find your friends if they join? It's a bit tricky, they will spawn where you spawned when you first started the world. We'll fix this in the future. So if you haven't played multiplayer before, basically you log into a world and if someone's wandered off and built something somewhere else, it might take you a while to find them. But as you see, they're planning on fixing that and implementing some sort of different system. Do you guys have plans to implement combat slash survival mode after release? Yes, but we don't have an exact date on that yet. Uh, this is one of the things they talked about before they released it, that there will be survival mode in this game. Hello, could you make it so two buttons can attach to the same controller? Yes, we will add this. Now that sounds like a small change, so that might be something that's coming very soon. Uh, that'll put my multiple input controller out of the game, but there you go. I think that's going to be a good addition, though, something that's definitely needed. I think this next one's a pretty big deal. Are you guys planning to make a way to reattach chunks that fell off of a creation? It would save a lot of time. Yes, we want to make a welding tool. Now that's a pretty big deal right there because it's a real pain when you accidentally break a block and half of your creation falls off. So welding tool confirmed. No idea how long that's going to be, of course, but it's something that they want to do. So let's hope that they're able to do that. Will we have any workshop support or any kind of uploading and downloading creations? Yes, we really want to add that later. So obviously it's something they want to do, but later, you know, it might be a while before we see something like that. But that's definitely something I want to see. It'd be really great if we had schematics in game. You know, you could uh, save a little creation you made, send it to a friend. They could modify it, attach it, send it back. That would, of course, be pretty fantastic. About maps, are survival future creative maps going to be bigger than the current one? And the reply is, oh yes, much bigger. Now you could read into this one a fair bit, I think, because it could suggest that there's multiple maps and they're going to be different sizes, which could hint at how survival is played. Maybe there's a campaign with multiple maps. I don't know, speculating, but we do know that we're going to get bigger maps. So now we're looking at things that I think are a little less immediate. This first one here. Also, any plans for mod support? Will being able to add new items slash blocks, such as programmable blocks, be a possibility? And they say, we really want to add mod support, but you know, no confirmation of when. I can't help but feel that's probably going to be a big thing to add support for, so it might be a lot further down the road. Will dedicated servers be a thing soon? The multiplayer is very basic right now, we want to improve it at some point. Will there be a dedicated server program for us to host servers on? Basic question. Hi Peter, most likely lit yes. So there you go, I mean, not confirming it, but saying most likely at some point we should have dedicated servers, hopefully. Will there be an undo or delete function in creative? Right now there is no undo, but it's something we will look into more. The key thing to point out here is they've said they will look into it, so it's quite likely that that wasn't part of their original plans. It could also mean that the game has been programmed in a way that might make that difficult to implement. So fingers crossed for the undo button. I really think the game needs it, but there's no guarantee from this tweet. 
This question is simply, be there water? <laughs> we want to add it at some point, but that will have to wait. So obviously, they want to put it in the game, but other things are going to come first. Okay, these next few tweets are really sort of distant future stuff. So this one says, will there be a Mac version in the near future? No plans like that right now, but that can change. A sort of open-ended answer really there. I imagine that depends on the success of the game. If it becomes very successful, it would make sense to branch out and put it onto the Mac as well. Do you want to make the game ALL PS4? I don't have a computer play the game. I liked a lot of the wiki. Please reply from game designers. And here it says, no PS4 plans right now, maybe in the future. So same as the one before, really. They're not saying no to this, so it probably just is based on the success of the game, giving them the option to, you know, expand and, and put it on different consoles and computers. Are you going to translate the game to Spanish in the near future? Yes, at some point. That kind of confirms that they're going to translate the game, and most likely that will be for more than just Spanish. So if you want to play this game in a different language, it's quite likely, if it's uh, one of the more popular languages, that it will get translated at some point. Hey, awesome devs, are there plans to add some kind of wildlife? Nothing too fancy, so we can make cool little traps for them. Uh, that is not a priority right now. We are trying to optimize the game, but sure, we would love to add that at some point. Kind of suggesting that further down the road, they want to flesh out the game with lots of different things, and maybe wildlife would be one of those. So there you go. That's all the tweets that I've had a look through. And remember, don't read into it too much. Don't take too much of it for something that's going to be immediate, like, you know, mods are coming tomorrow or anything like that. Uh, be patient with this game, it is early access, and I'd encourage all of you to leave a question for the developers down below in the comments of this video. I'm going to contact them and just see if they'd be interested in doing a little Q&A. So if you guys have any questions, I could read through the comments, pick out the most popular questions and pass it on to them. But I haven't even asked them that, I just that was like an idea I had, so it'd be cool if they said yes to that and then we could answer more of your questions about this wonderful game. But anyway, that's it from me. If you've enjoyed the video, please do leave a like and subscribe for more Scrap Mechanic news in the future. I want to keep an eye on this game and possibly do another one of these videos in uh, the near or distant future. Who knows? Anyway, thank you for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.